wish to hear. Okay, what we're doing today is um, we've got some Race Tech um, uh, gold fork emulators, uh, dampening emulators. So um, that's one there. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to set this up. So I've set this up for someone that is around about 110 kilos. So with that, with this particular one for the for the Harley Fat Bob standard, um, it comes standard with the yellow springs. So I've checked the ratings, and um, uh, the, this is the 40 pound um, blue rating kit. So what you've got to do is basically swap these springs over, and then set the preload. Now the preload is, um, see that's really, I don't know if that works better, no. Um, the, pre, the preload is set so that um, you basically want to set it up as per the instructions, so uh, one and a half turns from zero lash, from zero lash, so, um, so that means that we're going to be undoing this nut on the back here so basically hold that nut while you loosen the screw off the allen key at the top end uh, and then this is going to actually we'll take the spring right out and then we'll um, put the change the new spring in get it to zero lash which i'll demonstrate and then um, do a one and a half turns so i'll cut to that in a second okay so to do this you're going to need a, a three eight spanner to hold this end and you're going to need a 4mm allen key to hold this end. So basically, we lock, undo the lock nut here and screw the screw out. You'll notice that the tension will come right off. Get my um, ratchet here. just be careful because as you can see this part here is all is all part of it so just got to be careful not to drop any of that stuff on the ground um, it's a low nylock nut so um, and it looks like it's got a bit of lock tight on them as well so that's cool so what I'm going to do before I take it completely apart I'm going to cut open the bag that these springs come in and get that ready to change out. Okay, here's a spring here. This is a 40 pound spring. So, I'll just keep holding this here. And just be careful that that piece there doesn't come off, that brass piece. And Because I'm not sure if there's a spring in there or not, I need to check. Okay, that's the nut off. And the nut goes that way, up against the back face here. Okay, so we'll just want, keep winding that out. Um, okay, so I'll just take this off here and how, see how it's got the little bronze lip there? Just keep it that way. Just take your spring off. Just drop it down. Keep the washer on here and put the other spring on. Poke this back through like so and then screw it back through into here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this uh, nut back on. The nut actually is just a lock nut at the end. The thread's actually through this uh, brass piece. And that's what gives it the, its um, rigid adjustment, I guess you could call it. I'll wind it back out so it touches and then when it comes in, we haven't got far to adjust it. Okay, so I'm just going to screw this back in now because see how that spring's got a lot of... And that little lip there on the on the brass piece here, this little check valve, 
um, that is just a guide to stop the spring from wearing out um, on the face of the Allen key, Allen screw. So we'll just wind that in. Still got plenty of play there. And you just want to get that up so it's got zero lash. Okay, so that's got, that's actually got tension on it now. So wind that out till it's actually free. That's pretty much free there. Just take it up about a quarter of a turn, or eighth of a turn. Yep. So that's zero there. And now we've got to go one and a half turns from that point. So um, I'll see if I can grab the camera a little wee bit and give it a bit of adjustment. Okay, to there. So now I'm going to go one and a half turns from zero lash. So we'll just take this round half, one, one and a half. And now I'm just going to hold this spanner, uh, the credit, ratchet exactly where it is, and then I'm going to start just tightening this one here up and you just want to you don't want to crank on it you just want to give it a little bit of a nip up to so say that it's not going to come undone and that's the preload set on those on that spring so uh, so I just got to do the other one now um, and once we've done the other one we'll go through uh, drilling out the damper itself cheers see you in a minute 